guys. Welcome again sa ITS Information Technology Skills. On today's video, pag-uusapan natin ang searching algorithms, which are the linear search and the binary search. First, we have the linear search. Linear search is the most basic kind of searching method. It involves checking each element of the list until the desired element is found. Okay, so we have this algorithm for a linear search. Start from the leftmost element of the array and one by one compare the key, which is yung hinahanap natin, with the elements of the array. So for example, search if 1 is on the list, then return its index. So let's say we have the list na 5, 2, 4, 6, 1, 3. So dun sa example natin, kailangan daw natin hanapin kung yung 1 is makikita dun sa list. So kung na natin tong list natin, of course, alam natin na meron si 1. But using the linear search, we're going to ask each element dito sa list starting from the leftmost hanggang mahanap niya yung sinasearch natin, which is 1. So, we're going to start from 5 is this 1. So, pag hindi, magmumove siya dun sa next element. So, tatanungin niya, is this 1? Pag hindi, magmumove ulit, is this 1? No. Magmumove ulit siya, no again. Then, magmumove ulit siya. So, dito na part, 1 na po yung element natin. Sabi, it will return the index. So, pwede natin sabihin that 1 is found at index 4. So, bakit index 4? Um, an array starts with index 0. So, itong 5 na to is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, yung 1, mahanap natin kay index 4. This is a sample code or algorithms that we can have. Okay, so you can see, gagamit lang tayo ng isang for loop. It will start at 0. I stands for the index hanggang dun sa last element ng array natin. And it will increment by 1. So, titignan natin guys, kapag yung for loop natin is increment by 1, the time complexity is big O of n. Okay? So, this is the worst case ng linear search. Kapag Best case naman, we have the big O of 1. Best case happen kapag yung hinahanap natin na key is on the first element ni array. So let's say, hanapin natin yung 5 and makikita natin dito sa array natin that 5 is the first element of the array. So that is big O of 1 and that is the best case. We also have the average case which is big O of n divided by 2. Alam naman natin kapag average, it always divide by 2. Then we also have the binary search. Binary search searches a sorted array by repeatedly dividing the search interval into half. Okay, so yung binary search natin guys, it is an example of a divide and conquer algorithm which is i-divide niya yung array hanggang mahanap niya yung sinesearch natin na key. So basically, binary search only function for a sorted array. So yun yung difference nila ni linear search maliban sa dinidivide yung index. Okay, so we have these algorithms that it begins with an interval covering the whole array. If the value of the search key is less than the item in the middle of the interval, narrow the interval to the lower half. Otherwise, narrow it to the upper half. Then repeatedly check until the value is found or the interval is empty. To better understand that, let's have an example. Search 23 on the list, then return its index. Let's say meron tayong list na 2, 5, 8, 12, 16, 23, and 38. Of course, we can say that 23 is found on this array kasi nakikita na natin siya. But using the binary search, paano nga ba siya gumagana? First, we need to identify the middle index. So, dito sa array natin, guys, we need to understand the index of each element. Okay? So, always remember na yung index natin starts with 0. So, to find the middle index, we have this equation which is m is equal to l plus parentheses r minus l divide by 2. So, we have m is equal to 0, the left index plus 6, the right index minus 0, the left index divide by 2, that is equal to 3. So, basically, ang index 3 natin is C12. Yun po yung content ni index 3. So, here, we're going to ask if that is 23. If that is 23, return the M index. So, if least M, the middle index, is equal to the key, which is 23, then return M index, which is 3. Else, if least M greater than the key, 
sa so search natin yung nasa left part niya. Else, ang isa-search naman natin is yung nasa right part. So, because list m is not equal to t, ito ang tatanungin natin. List m greater than t. So, 12 greater than 23, that is false. So, dito tayo kay else. So, basically, masashorten yung array natin. So, ito na lang yung array natin, which starts at index 4. Okay? So, dito sa remaining na part ng array natin, hahanapin ulit natin yung middle index. Okay? So, to find the middle index, we have again this equation. So, meron tayo ngayong m is equal to 4, that is the left index, okay, plus 6 minus 4 divided by 2, okay? So, we have 4 plus 6 minus 4, that is 2 divided by 2, so magiging 1 yan. So, 4 plus 1, we have m is equal to 5. So, itong pinaka na. So, with this, tatanungin ulit natin if that is equal to 23. Dito ulit tayo sa conditions natin dito sa taas. So, list m equals to key. So, 23 equals to 23. That is true. Ibig sabihin, 23 is found at index 5. Now, we have this sample code or algorithms that we can use. So, if you're going to observe, this is a recurrence relation, which is it calls itself dun sa loob ng function, okay? Pag recurrence relation siya, we're going to consider the first call as t of n. Then, kung makikita natin dito, to find the middle index, that is equal to 1. Then, meron tayo ng mga conditions natin. So, for the first condition, kung yung t is equal to the element inside the middle index, ibabalik niya na yung result, okay? So, that is the best case. We go of 1 kapag dun sa middle index, unang hati ng array mo, andun agad yung sinesearch mo na key. Okay? So, that is the best case. What if hindi siya best case? Ibig sabihin, andito siya, it's either sa else if or dun sa else. So, mamili na lang tayo ng isa sa kanila kasi either dito sa dalawa ang gagawin niya. And, and kung titignan natin, same lang sila ng call, maliban lang dun sa mga parameters or arguments na ipapas niya. So, pili na lang tayo ng isa. Let's say this part, this is considered as t of n divided by 2. Bakit n divided by 2? Kasi dun sa first call, buo pa lang yung array. Pagdating na sa gitna, of course, mahahati yung element natin kasi kukunin natin yung middle index, i-compare natin. So, madi-divide yung array. So, if we're going to have this, Magkakaroon tayo ng equation na t of n is equal to t of n divided by 2. Asan yung 1? Tinanggal ko na lang itong 1 na to because that is a constant. According to the rule, in time complexity, constant will be omitted or removed. So, tatanggalin na natin siya agad para hindi tayo mahirapan. So, we have this equation na nakuha natin kanina. So, t of n is equal to t of n divided by 2. Actually, this is the first call. So, during the first call, yung buong mo element, pag natawag na siya, maprocess na siya, magiging n minus 2. So, paano naging ganun? Let's say, these are your list. and dito sa baba. So, buo pa lang to. So, during the first call, habang napaprocess siya, mahahanap mo na yung middle index. Okay? So, if you have the middle index, mahahati na yung array mo into half. Kaya naging n minus 2. So, what if meron ka pa ulit another call? Hindi eksakto na sa middle index yung sinesearch mo na key. So, we need to find the value of t of n para sa substitution. So, kung hahanapin natin yung value ni t of n over 2, meron tayong t of n over 2 is equal to t of n over 2 divided by 2. So, saan natin kinuha to? We all know the value of t of n. Ang value ni t of n is t of n over 2. Yun po yung nilagay natin dito sa taas. And meron tayo over 2 for this part. So, ito po si over 2. Using the rule and division, if we're going to divide a number, pwede natin siyang gawin na multiplication. Okay? And, pabalik na natin yung number sa divisor. So, we have p of n over 2 times 1 half and proceed to multiplication. So, pag nag-multiply tayo, meron tayo p of n over 2 squared. So, n times 1, that is n. 2 times 2, that is 2 squared. So, during the second call, meron tayo t of n over 2 square, that is the second call. So basically, itong nahati na to dun sa first call, mahati pa ulit yan into another part. But hindi to nasali. This is the middle part. So dun sa rule, pag hindi yung middle ang element, kukunin natin yung it's either the left part or the right part. So let's say dito na lang muna tayo sa left part. So what if meron pa tayong another call, pang third call? So we need to find the value of p of n over 2 square. So, using substitution method ulit, guys, meron tayong t of n over 2 square. So, alam na natin yung value ni t of n. 
the value of t of n is t of n over 2. Yun po yung na-compute natin ganina. Then, meron tayong over 2 square. So, same dun sa una natin ginawa. Gamitin natin yung multiplication. Then, gagawin lang natin fraction yung 2 square. So, meron tayong t of n over 2 times 1 over 2 square. So, meron tayong t of n. Then, 2 times 2 square. That is 2 cube. So, yun po siya guys. Kailan nga ba magiging 1 yung t of n natin? Or kailan magiging 1 lang yung naiiwan dito na element dun sa array natin? Magiging 1 yung t of n natin if n is divided by n. So, pag dinidivide na na yung sarili niya. So, paano magiging n yung divisor dun sa t of n natin? Okay, so, ang na natin, this is 2, naging 2 square, tapos magiging 2 cube kapag meron pa tayong third call. So, meron tayong constant number. So, yung first na call, pwede natin sabihin that 2 raised to 1. Tapos yung second call, that is 2 raised to 2. Third call, 2 raised to 3. So, meron tayong n over 2k, which is k is a constant number. So, ano yung 2k? 2k is equal to n. So, paano naman natin kukunin yung k? Yung value ng k, guys, will be log n base 2. So, pwede natin sabihin that the time complexity of a binary search is big O of n. That is the worst case. So, that's it, guys. We're done with linear search and binary search, including their time complexity analysis. So, kung nakatulong itong video na to, don't forget to like. And kung gusto mo pang matuto about computer programming, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell for more tutorial videos. Bye!